With America facing challenges all over the world, CIA Director John Brennan says his workforce needs to evolve and diversify to meet that threat. Jeff Gates traveled with Brennan on a recruitment trip and got unprecedented access to the director. It's an interview you'll see only on CBS this morning. Jeff, good morning again. Charlie, good morning. Few people in this country know more about ISIS and the threat of terrorism than CIA Director John Brennan. He lived in the Middle East, speaks fluent Arabic, and has more than 30 years in national security. When we spoke with him last week, before the events of this past weekend, he told us that he believes the terrorist organization's days are numbered. We interviewed the CIA director several times over a 24-hour period. John Brennan's motorcade arrived at Andrews Air Force Base. Good to see you. Nice Thanks to for see coming you along. Too. Shortly before this unmarked Air Force jet was scheduled to take off, this is how the CIA director travels. The plane is equipped with secure systems, ensuring that he can communicate with the president during a crisis. We were headed to Alabama. The CIA did not allow us to record video during the flight, but we were permitted to tape the audio. During an hour and a half interview on board, the director told us he worried about ISIS's success in inspiring attacks worldwide. They have invested in this over the past several years. And right now, I think they're trying to reap the harvest of those investments. While the CIA focuses on external threats, Brennan has also been looking at shortcomings within the intelligence agency itself. In 2013, he ordered a study on diversity. The results? Racial and ethnic minorities make up just under 24% of the workforce and about 10% of the senior intelligence positions. Great to see you. On the day we followed him, Brennan was visiting Miles College, a historically black college near Birmingham. If everybody at the agency looked like me and thought like me and, and had my background and experience, I think we would be subject to tremendous groupthink. We would not be open to new ideas and new perspectives. Did U.S. intelligence, for some of those reasons, miss what was bubbling under the surface of the Arab Spring? No matter how much insight we had into how governments were thinking and how they were reacting, we didn't have the pulse of the street as best as we should have. ISIS grew partly out of discontent in the Arab world. The terror group inspired the deadly attacks in San Bernardino and Orlando and in Europe deployed cells to carry out the attacks in Paris and Brussels. Do you think American people and the people of uh, Europe should expect more of these attacks? I think ISIS's capability to carry out attacks outside of the Syria-Iraq theater will continue and could increase. Could in increase. The, could increase in the short term. Brennan, whose career in national security spans 36 years, says he can't remember a time when the country faced so many complex and dangerous threats. As we rode in his motorcade, we asked about recent cyber attacks like those on athlete medical records, files of the Democratic National Committee, and election databases in at least two states. Experts say the hacks trace back to Russia. Going forward, do you expect that there will be more cyber intrusions from Russia or Russians leading up to the November 8th election? Well, I believe that as we come to the election, there will be additional attempts to exploit, to collect, uh, possibly to disclose information that is related somehow to the presidential campaign. He was reluctant to discuss the campaign, insisting that he wasn't a Democrat or a Republican. But he is adamant that he will not waterboard terror suspects, even though Republican nominee Donald Trump has endorsed the idea. I would refuse to carry out uh, a direction uh, to conduct waterboarding. Uh, I will just say no. And it will be up even to, to a president. Absolutely, even to a president. This seems like an odd place for the CIA director. For Brennan, coming to Birmingham is also about understanding evil. In 1963, in the midst of the civil rights movement, three members of the Ku Klux Klan planted over a dozen sticks of dynamite outside the 16th Street Baptist Church. The explosion killed four young black girls. So this makes real what it is that we do every day to try to keep this country safe and strong and keep its citizens secure. Brennan says the core of ISIS has been taken off the battlefield, but he acknowledged that it would take time for the group's tentacles to decay. The tentacles that he's referring to are the sympathizers and operatives who are willing to carry out attacks. 
Mm. Anything you can tell us about the suspect that, they, that we just heard about? Yeah, well, we just learned, obviously, that uh, there is a wanted poster that is out. Police are looking for this man. Mm -hmm. They consider him armed and dangerous. And so this, in a lot of ways, changes the narrative of what happened here. Mm -hmm. uh, there appears to be some sort of international connection uh, to terrorism in this case. Uh, Go ahead. I'm sorry. And so uh, investigators say that this may be part of a, a, a cell. Uh, this man may be part of a cell. So that's the latest news that we What's have. What's interesting is no one seems to have put their own life willing to commit suicide in order to launch an explosion. They put it in a dumpster and they were not there. Well, these are, you know, that's the thing about ISIS, and that's what uh, the CIA director and others, the FBI director, uh, have said about this threat from ISIS. It continues to evolve. Mm -hmm. As U.S. law enforcement evolves and tries to adjust, uh, ISIS is almost one step ahead. But that's typical when you have cases like these, uh, because often uh, offense... Uh, it comes before defense. Yes. That's the way the CIA director right. put it, and that really stood out to me. Right. Uh, office, offense comes before defense. And boy, the, I think the message defense. loud and clear this morning is that our law enforcement is on it, and they move quickly. Yeah. They will find you and catch you. They're on top of it. Thank yeah. you, Jeff.